before I forget to ask you, Andrew, how's your yeah. uh, new sleeping schedule going? Uh, so far, so good. Have you slept yet? Yeah, well, yeah, I went to bed at like five in the morning. Solid. So nothing's <laughs> changed. So far, no. <laughs> All right. What was, Card, what's welcome. your new sleeping? Okay, right. yeah. go, go, I'm go. skipping the intro. intro. All right, there's this 130, episode 130. Yeah. Uh, welcome back to the only podcast where every host is a verified chick on Tinder. Uh, as always, today with me is Jacqueline, Amber, Charlene, and myself, Kayla. We're going to talk about everything, sisters, including Amber's sleeping schedule. So what is this about? Oh, there's not really much to talk about. Um, I want to start doing a sleep schedule where I just go to sleep when I'm tired and wake up when I want to. Not really the whole, oh, it's bedtime. Oh, I need to go to bed now. I want to start trying that out. And then I'll just set an alarm if I have something to do, like a very special podcast. And I want to see how that goes. And then eventually loop around to where like I'm going to bed at like 4 p.m. or something. You know, funny you should say that because today I decided I'm going to do the exact opposite. I was living <laughs> like that and I'm fucking miserable. I'm suffering. Yeah. I, I'm, this is the 37th time I'm trying to quit coffee so i can go to bed at night and actually fall asleep without man i andrew i think you'll i don't know maybe you'll like it i hated it because well, i would yeah, sleep if, at most three hours at a time and i would always just wake up feeling shit yes. if you're addicted to caffeine and pounding coffee and can't sleep regardless i mean that's a that's an issue i'm not experiencing i can i can always go to sleep at all times no oh, look you fuck <laughs> but yeah that's yeah, my attempt I, I'm just so fucking tired of uh, tired of tired of sleeping because like when you when you break down the math, we spend so much fucking time asleep. And what can too you do? much time? What can you do while you're asleep? Have a dream. That's it. Fuck that. That's completely useless and boring. So my whole thing is I want to not have to do that thing where it's like, I'm not even tired, but, you know, it's getting late. I should go to bed. I just want to I just want to try out only going to sleep when I'm actually like really sleepy and getting getting things done and having fun and having a blast. I'll see how that goes. <laughs> not well. Not yeah, when you're really, really, really tired. <laughs> yeah. I, I I mean I'm willing to I'm gonna try it. I don't know. My my other plan is to just sleep completely naturally. Like if I go to bed and wake up four <laughs> hours later and I and I, I feel okay, I'll be like, all right, I'm up. I, I might take a nap when I get sleepy again, but well, like I'm going to treat sleep as as naturally as I fucking can. No, no rigid scheduling. Just let it happen and see what happens. That's fair. I think. Well, I yeah, hope I you have luck with fair. that. I, it, sleep gonna, schedules natural though. Like, isn't there a reason why it is. Rhythm. basically? Yes, circadian rhythm and the whole that your body gets naturally tired when it's dark because it wants the sunlight and all that shit. Yes, that is completely true. But I just want to. I just want to see how it, I want to see how it goes. I want to see how it feels. I'm going to try it. it I, I'm expecting it to not work, but maybe I'll like discover enlightenment or something. If Andrew isn't here it's... next week, he's dead. <laughs> so, yeah, your, your plan is to basically just sleep whenever you drop. But what if you've yes. got like, like you said, you drop two hours before the podcast and you have to wake up in two hours to record the podcast. See, I, I've I've done that a lot, yeah. though. That that never bothers me. <coughs> I I throughout all of the grand history of my life i've always never had a problem with oh, i'll set an alarm and i gotta be up at this time so i'll just i'll just man up and take that it's fine figure it out and, and I, fair, if I, I do guess. have to if i do have to set an alarm that's less time i'm sleeping anyway so good shit it worked out yeah i've got a topic for you boys has it's kind of on the similar track as sleeping do you guys remember steam or valve's artifact game yeah, uh, unfortunately, card yeah. game. Yeah. So Valve released a card game called Artifact, pretty much just bad Hearthstone. That's kind of what I call any any card game online these days. But it's a shit card game. No one plays it anymore. Wasn't but it, sorry, wasn't was it that it announcement where Valve really teased the title and then they revealed it to be a card game yeah. and everybody started yeah. booing because they thought it was um, Half Life Three? 
No, they yeah. thought it was uh, Dota 3, I think. Oh. Because well, or something it's like that. They, they were Dota. ramping it up as a, like an actual big announcement or whatever, yeah. like something that fans had been crying for forever. Yeah. Like really leaning into that kind of, you know, hype. And then they just dumped the card game. It's and a paid they, card game, right? It costs $30 to enter. Yeah. I, I don't know that right. much about it. I it's just also know it's, it's really also a based. It's based on Dota as well. So they were able to go. By the way, a new Dota game is coming, and that so that just added to the fire of people getting pissed off because it's just a card anyway, game. What's the issue? Well, no one plays it anymore on Twitch. It used to have like less than fifty viewers, but over the last week. People have been using the artifact section on Twitch to play like in-game. In fact, I'm watching in-game right now on Twitch at the artifact section. They also use it for porn. They broadcast the fucking New Zealand shooting all on artifact. Ugh. And none of it gets taken down by Twitch until like six hours later because they don't even want to click on artifact. Oh my god, you're right. Holy yeah. shit. Wow, they have fucking they have if... downtown on right now. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, and right next to that is Avengers Endgame, which I've been watching. Yeah, Art Artifact Endgame DLC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. I, I'm watching Russian Hentai as we speak on Artifact. Holy shit. I know. This I entire section has just become this wild west. It's like Justin how did, TV. How did you I've... find this? How did you find out about this? People started to notice that Artifact was getting more viewers. So what they did, they, uh, <laughs> they clicked on it. Yeah. And what they used to do before they just got shameless, they used to have gameplay of Artifact in their thumbnail. And then they'd change the gameplay every now and then to something else. And then they just got more and more bold. And now it's just this. Wow, wow this literal this like, is, porn. Yeah, yeah, this is brilliant. Like, And the titles are great. Like, They're playing episodes of JoJo's and they say new taunt for artifact JoJo's dance. <laughs> this is wow, brilliant. Twitch is game DLC. Stepping in here. <laughs> Why is wow, Twitch is not doing awesome. anything? They're playing, Twitch... fuck, they're playing fucking Redline on Infinite Loop. Oh, shit, they are. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's a, I hope awesome. that stream stays up. The reason Twitch isn't doing anything is just because they just fucking suck at their jobs, I guess. I don't know. Oh, Usually no, they're, this too even... they're too busy Sorry, monitoring for like an accidental slip up or a word that sounds like another word in other people's streams to take down actual <laughs> porn and shootings. So some of these are so brilliant, man. This one guy has like the he's playing red line and in the very top left corner is the smallest possible resolution of an artifact game. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. I wonder There's if a single person actually playing it. Oh, man. I wonder if Steam <laughs> wow. has a deal or Valve rather with Twitch where their section has some sort of immunity. Where it doesn't get automatically flagged or something or taken down it's like low priority for the twitch staff because you know how youtube know. does that for the big late night tv show host like jimmy kimmel could literally upload a photo or a video of a baby getting killed and it would stay up for a while until somebody notices they have deals yeah. but you want to you want to know sounds the, like it's uh, been going on for a while so i, I would still only you want to know the best part there. You want, only you want to know the best part? <laughs> yeah, that's a long time. Yeah. You want to know the best part? The uh, the only stream actually playing Artifact has two viewers. No, oh. nine times out of ten what that is is just a YouTube video of someone who played Artifact when it came out. <laughs> this is amazing. Mm -hmm. How did the... Holy shit, this is great. Why did so you give it away, you... though? You should have just told us in private so that it, it wouldn't get taken down. Oh, it, yeah, it's, then I could it's, watch Endgame. It's well doc. I was just watching Aquaman on the Artifact stream, but uh, it's well <laughs> documented that this is what Artifact is used for. But Twitch is just so fucking incompetent here that they don't do anything. In fact, there's that's a not incompetence though. It would be such an easy fix. They just have someone moderating this section. Yeah, I'd there's like, something they, going but, on. There's some no, somebody yeah, at Twitch too, is into this. Way, they're way too busy looking for little offenses and other big streamers things to be bothered I, with real get, porn. They can get sued for hosting Endgame, basically. Well, they absolutely no. can. There's a screenshot of one of the artifact streams. I think it's an Endgame one, and there's a Twitch chat mo or a, a Twitch admin in the chat chatting. <laughs> <laughs> He's just enjoying it too. Yeah. Oh my I god, this is amazing. So could you guys just start streaming in that section and actually have uncensored fun for once in your lives? I I guarantee you this will not last. I no, I, I know. I mean, for now, 
this for now, what down. if every streamer started using the artifact section exclusively mm -hmm. as a form of protest to see, hey, see, they we actually like down. uncensored content. Well, it's not like artifact, like the name artifact is protecting these streams. It's just it's such yeah. a low profile game that no one gives a fuck about anymore that it's super low on the viewer list. I mean, at the end of the day, if everyone used the <clears throat> artifact name to stream copyrighted shit, they'd just remove artifact from the game listing. Yeah, and then they'd find a new home, which would probably be like RuneScape 3 or something. Yeah. Are these fucking episodes of Everybody Hates Chris? <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, they have pretty much every TV show broadcasting <laughs> on Artifact at some point throughout the day. This is excellent. <laughs> It's becoming I, its own gonna, network. Charlie, you've ruined my life because this is going to consume me for the next like week until it gets taken down. It's it's fucking great, man. It really is. <laughs> wow. Uh, oh <laughs> fuck! My Aquaman stream just got taken down. Oh. Shit! Uh -oh. They're, they're Shit. listening to the podcast. They're in the Discord. Fuck! They've infiltrated. Who's the furry? Out to yourself. Yeah, that's my big news for the week. That's this is what I've been keeping my eyes on. Someone, someone is streaming fucking the live stream archives of the Temple OS guy. <laughs> you guys remember the Temple OS guy? Uh, uh, Isn't he David? David? Yeah, David the, the guy who would use racial slurs and said that God told him to make this OS and shit. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! How did he die again? Uh, I think he was excessive homeless. racism. Yeah, homeless. he was homeless and he cursed out black people and they stabbed him. No, he was homeless and I don't know, some like medical shit. Uh, Whatever. It doesn't matter because no, now we well, can memorialize him on Artifact. He's with God now in heaven playing <laughs> Artifact. <laughs> Probably winning too. He's had a lot of practice with virgin shit making what, Linux? I, th I imagine that leaves a lot of time for practice. Terry okay, Davis let's... was his name, and he was murdered by a train. <laughs> train? Yeah, he got hit by a train. Is it <laughs> a joker? Like no, he, yeah, he, he got did. hit by a train sent by God, <laughs> basically. I don't know what to tell you. He got hit by a train. <laughs> yeah. God must have been a suicide him. then. Manslaughter. Yeah, the artifact streams will consume a good portion of your day for a little bit, no doubt. Yeah, I wish there were more. Do that right now, then I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> enough, here. enough Twitch go... links in the chat here. Stop tempting us with end game. We can go ahead and we'll close the book on the subject since you brought him up. Terry Davis, creator of Temple OS, while walking alongside railroad tracks in Dallas, he was struck and killed by a train. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I, yeah. I don't why think was he, he was walking. Was walking along? I don't think he was walking along them as much as on top of them. If he got stuck, yeah. struck. I don't know. It couldn't have happened to a, a worse guy, or a better guy. Rest in peace, Terry. Just ca casually sleeping on them. <laughs> if he was homeless. He really was. Like the cartoon homeless people with the little stick in their bag of belongings walking on top of the tracks, <laughs> laying their ears down maybe on the rails to see if the next train is coming so they can <laughs> hop on, find a new life, and instead you get run over by some train transporting coal or... I don't know what. I love the idea of him putting his ears to the tracks to listen for a train coming and one strikes him from behind. Just immediately. <laughs> uh, like sucker punches him with the force of a train, of course. Uh, okay, so, oh, so good. let's see. I got a bunch of topics. We have Amazon versus Amazon. Who's right voice came through with the voicemails. Joe Rogan AI and some deep fake uh, voices. That's kind of creepy. Uh, gang stalkers. Gaming is a disability now, or at least it will be in 2020. Uh, and who the fuck? Some guy from Gearbox, I guess, assaulted somebody. At, I think this is old news. Wait, Randy Damn it, Pitchford? Randy, not again. Randy Pitchford, I watch underage porn for magic tricks. That Randy Pitchford assaulted someone? Uh, to be fair, he did make a compelling argument with that. Oh, barely legal, excuse well, me. Yeah, David that was Eddings. <laughs> so David Eddings, who I think is the voice for Claptrap, says... Oh, yeah, I'm getting yeah, yeah. deja vu. Didn't we do this? He, he says, I was fine moving on after Gearbox, blah, 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 but I have to correct a record. I have a lot of mixed feelings about... He says, Randy physically assaulted me in the lobby of the Mario Marquis at Game Developers Conference 2017. 
Is it, is this news no, to you guys? Imagine getting imagine getting assaulted by Randy Pitchford of all people. Oh man, that'd be the most magical assault of all time. <laughs> Personally, I think you Randy's a, been you on pull tilt. Pull a crowbar out from behind your ear and then <laughs> smack you with it. <laughs> He'd start coming in his pants because that's the only magic tricks he studies is the cam girl ones. Ooh. So Claptrap says, I even blocked him a couple of years ago for stalking me on social media. Enough is enough. <laughs> yeah, Randy, come on. She's just not that into you. It's not nice. It's nice not feeling the need to spot any sleight of hand these days. Ooh, you see that pun he did there? Ooh. Randy is a magician. Or wonder if the card was chosen or forced. Ooh, more magic puns. Mm. No, I'm happy to be over free. The top there, Randy. I'm happy to be free from the half-truths and full-on deceptions. And thankful to no longer hear people refer to as muggles, like a con man refers to a mark. <laughs> muggles. Imagine oh Randy Pitchford just going around. Employees? I guess imagine him going around. That's I. That must be what he calls people who just don't want to pull a card. Like Randy, I gotta work, man. Just go away. I, I have to edit this audio and these texture these models. Could you leave me alone? <sighs> okay, muggle. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be docked from your pay. You're going to Hufflepuff this time. Do you think he just sits in his office instead of making games all day, just practicing magic, playing with cards? Well, his, I, you have to assume he does, because that's all he, he seems to be passionate about. Well, literally, his practicing magic is watching cam girls on Chatterbait, so yeah, probably. <laughs> well, apparently he magically made $12 million disappear, which he siphoned he? away from a... Yeah, from a employer employee's uh, pension fund, apparently. So good Talk guy, Randy. For there. Borderlands Three, baby. Big boy, uh, basically doing a one man. Now you see me three. Is Borderlands Three happening? Has, has it come out? Well, no, it's just been it's been announced, okay. and now everyone's so excited. Randy Pitchford's back in the fucking limelight, baby, where he belongs. Can't wait for his lines. Brandy Pitchford, I don't think voice acts in it, does he? No, but doesn't he? I mean, I assume he has some creative control of, over the terrible writing in it. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I wonder if he, like, privately commissions them. Or maybe if he's sitting in the recording room, hitting that little button that lets him talk to the voice actors. They're going like, haha, that was funny. You, should, you guys should record some lines just for fun. Like, Randy's such an awesome magician. Like, wow, that, I didn't see that coming. Yes, that is my card. Randy, you're amazing. And now David, the can you amazing just load Randy. into the mic for me? <laughs> uh, what a weirdo. <laughs> he is such a fucking weird guy. He's oh. so entertaining though. I can't yeah. I can't dislike him. He's too entertaining. Yeah, but it's like accidentally entertaining. Like when I listened yeah. to him on that like Puff podcast, he was entertaining because he's like this fucking weird, hard to believe exists human being who thinks it's normal to carry around porn to restaurants. And how he got into a position of that kind of success and power is just, it's, uh, it's, it brings a tear to my eye. Well, Good on you, Randy. Well, how did, he didn't like get there through hard work or something. What Doesn't he come from oh, no, like a no, really no. wealthy family? I don't know about that. Oh, well, he comes from a family of magicians. Success story. Mm. <laughs> Powerful sorcerers who've raised him. <laughs> <laughs> he comes from the fucking Potter family. Have we lost Andrew? Are you still in the depths? No, of I'm still here. Twitch? I've I'm still, still watching here. Endgame. <laughs> Is yeah, uh, John Wick still... three on there by any chance? Because I yeah, watched that was, this uh, weekend. John Wick three was on there for a while. <laughs> yeah. Dude, do yourself a favor and watch it in the cinemas. Oh, Such a good so movie. Fuck, I two should. hours of action, little dialogue, just nothing but John going around kicking ass. So I was trying to prepare for this. Uh, I wanted to watch the first two again. What are you giggling about? I just like that. I was preparing for this movie. <laughs> As if it's some type of fucking sporting event that you need to practice for. I was shooting hoops hey. outside for hours, ready for John Wick. There are some things I do care about, and John Wick is one of them. I really like the first two, so I decided I'm going to watch the first two again. I go on Netflix, and of course it's not available, nor is it on Hulu, not for me, because Hulu isn't available anywhere. So what do I do? I open up my ExpressVPN, which you can get at expressvpn.com slash official. And then there's plenty of websites out there that let you Google uh, which movie is available in what region on Netflix, so you know exactly 
where you can set your ExpressVPN to. And since considering they have what are literally a hundred fucking countries on the planet that you can choose an IP from, I choose Poland mm -hmm. and I logged on to Netflix and lo and behold, I was able to watch John Wick 1 and 2, both amazing movies. Still kind of prefer the first. Uh, so if you go to expressvpn.com slash official, you guys heard me rave about this before. I really fucking love being able to watch anything I want. No YouTube videos blocked for me anymore. No online streaming service is region locked for me. And you know, if you're kind of a naughty guy who just likes trolling people on the internet, if you get if you get banned from someplace, you know, just get a new IP. You have a choice between like 500 of them, so just have fun. Expressvpn.com slash official. I'm supposed to read the spoiler plates here, which isn't as interesting as me telling you that you can go watch John Wick 1 and 2, really, but still, uh, let me find this. ExpressVPN, protect your online activity today and find out how you can get your three months free at expressvpn.com slash official. That's right, you get three months off from a product that's cheap already. I pay for it out of my own pocket because I really like it every month. There you go. Check out expressvpn.com slash official. Uh, Good shit. Great. Somebody asked, wait, if I use ExpressVPN and I choose a different place than where I live, will my Netflix options change? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get to see things yep. that, for instance, only Americans get to see. I think Avengers, like Infinity War is only available in America, for instance, and John Wick is available in Poland and Hungary or something. So you can just change your region and watch that shit. I did. Okay, it's not so just Netflix. It's like all the streaming services and other websites that are blocked within exactly. that region. You can unlock them by going to a new region. It's really cool. Yeah, exactly. Just like it lets you unlock it and every page where I have to do this every time I'm in Turkey so I can browse literally anything that isn't state sponsored newspapers. Um, yeah, I was, I was gonna say I really love John Wick. But I feel like one is still my favorite. I, want, I, I, I was going to ask what the it. ranking is. Because uh, I had always heard that two was disappointing compared to one. So that's why mm -hmm. I never really watched it. <gasps> what? Yeah, I haven't watched it. I've only watched the first one. And I, so I'm going to watch the second one before I go watch the third. I haven't Andrew seen hasn't the second seen one either. either. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well then I don't want to spoil the two sentences of story that it contains. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, like John Wick's biggest biggest uh, like benefit is that it doesn't really have a plot to spoil. Like, it kind of does, but not really. Like it's not important in the scheme of things. Well, yeah, the plot like, is more literally John wants to or John needs to kill these bad guys. So John's going to kill these bad guys. That's yeah. the plot. I'd just be more there, disappointed. Yeah. I'd be more disappointed if you somehow spoiled all of the interesting ways that he does kill people in the, yeah, in the no, I would never do that. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> Meanwhile, Charlie, I think every, once a week tweets, John Wick killed a man with three men with a pencil. Well, that's he from the though. first movie. That That's not a spoiler. I know, I'm, I'm making a joke. Yeah, it's great. Okay, oh, I get, okay, all right, then if you guys haven't watched it anyway, let's not talk about it. I know we've been teasing people's assholes way too much, uh, talking about TV shows and movies over the last couple of weeks. We've gotten let's some Let's talk about Game about of that. Thrones. Let's bring it back. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> let's not don't do that yeah okay how about some deep fix then i sent you guys a couple of videos of the leap motion is now doing some augmented reality thing where you can tell a conference and it creates a little hologram of you for other people to see and now there's deep fakes going around i think this was samsung samsung they, yeah you, they can t now take a photo literally just a photo of somebody's face and they can make a 3d head of it that can talk and looks fairly realistic so they just were fucking around with it animating photos uh sorry paintings of like the mona lisa and some other clown i think this is amazing <laughs> have you guys heard uh seen the joe rogan fake voice yeah the baby yeah. fakes the what no the what is that the baby face fakes of joe rogan when him and elon musk smoked the joint oh no they put no, no. baby Oh, I'm talking yeah, about that. what are you? No, I'm talking about so some university studied his voice and used artificial intelligence and network neural learning or whatever to synthesize his voice. And that's what I wanted to play for you guys, because this is amazing. This is not the real Joe Rogan. Listen to this. Friends, I've got something new to tell all of you. I've decided to sponsor a hockey team made up entirely of chimps. 
I'm tired of people telling me that chimps are not capable of kicking human ass in sports. Chimps are just superior athletes. And these chimps have been working out hard. The throwing kettlebells, battle ropes, everything. I've got them on a strict diet of bone broth and elk meat. These chimps will rip your balls off. God damn, it's impressive. All I got to say is, see you on the ice, folks. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that's the uh, that's uh, the same yeah, that's AI. Impressive. That's the same AI that Zach was talking about, or I was talking about that Zach showed me a couple weeks ago, where you can just remember I told you they did it with Donald Trump because there was so much media to go through for it, and they made it sound exactly like him. It's the same scary. shit. Scary, scary, it's very nuts. scary. We talked about these things, I don't know, like half a year ago, I think, and I made the prediction that at most. A couple of decades from now, anybody, any person with a computer would be able to deep fake anything he wants or realistically render 3D things. I stand by that. See, uh, For once, I'm I've less, been I'm right. Less worried, I'm, less, I'm less worried about individuals having this kind of power as opposed to the... You said Samsung made this? Like corporations having this kind of power is kind of yeah. scary because they can actually influence things with it. Well, it's going it to change everything. You, if it makes yeah. you feel better, the technology's still not there. Like the Joe Rogan clip, his voice, his inflections are very robotic, and you can hear compression and artifacting in it. Okay, you, and if you, you right. uh, if, if I you, smuggled yeah, that into on, not, a regular on. clip of him, you could never tell. I mean, probably not. But if you listen to it, you could. I mean, there's popping and artifacting, and also he's like, "Hi, I'm Joe Rogan. I'm here to talk about chimps." You know what I mean? It's like it has that weird computer text to speech inflection behind it. And yeah, also the, still, still uh, the Samsung easily get it by people if they weren't. And paying also attention. the uh, the Samsung lab where they took paintings. The problem is that I think they have to choose a perspective to render the face from because they did the Mona Lisa and it looked like three different women when it was three different talking animations because of just how it generated. So I it, it kind of had like that. It looks like her, but isn't her kind of thing. You know what I mean? I think she's just ugly. I'll be honest. I think that's the first time we've seen her from that angle. I think the painter was being very uh, flattering when he was painting her. But I'm excited. I think this is going to change everything. Companies will be able to just hire voice actors without hiring them. Imagine just the fact that somebody Fun. right now could make a Joe Rogan podcast without Joe Rogan. Or podcast oh, with anybody with that'd be them. cool. Isn't that not that'd we be should, really cool? Wait, yeah, we should uh, have that guy make a Joe Rogan episode for us. That way we could say Fuck we that, had Joe make Rogan our episodes on. for us. Yeah, <laughs> do our work. <laughs> but people are gonna fake so much shit that it's. I think so. Here's another prediction, and 50 years after I'm dead, because I'm probably gonna die next week of caffeine overconsumption once I fall off the wagon again. I think this is going to kill cancel culture because yeah. no one will ever really be canceled. <laughs> yes. So, you know, yeah, be because so look, you know, what happens is 20, some guy, some clip of somebody saying something will surface from 20 years ago and all of a sudden their life is over. They get kicked off the Oscars, right? They lose their jobs, their livelihoods. I think. All of these deep fakes, they're going to create such a culture where everybody's default assumption is going to be, oh, that has to be fake. Like the internet, yeah. every yeah. medium is going to be so saturated with fake things where there's going to be 500 real Joe Rogan episodes to 5 million fake ones. So even no matter what happens, no matter what clip of you saying fucked up things comes out, you can always just tell people, dude, that's a fake. Are you a dummy? Look at it. Listen to the inflection. I would never say the N-word like that. Well, that's I mean, what I do that, for everything that's... right now. <laughs> you say the N-word for everything? <laughs> no, I say I say if, if anything ever comes out remotely bad about me, I just say, that's a fake. Are you a fucking idiot? Like, I would never say that or do that or whatever I did. Well, that's, that's how it should be. It shouldn't be up to the general public to crucify people <laughs> on yeah. a whim. It should be up to the police to do that. Yeah, but it's always been that, the Jackson. The internet police are stronger than the real police, Jackson. Yeah. yeah when it comes to your career, more. they are, yes. Ow! Ja are you Jackson, okay? the internet police got him. Oh, no. <laughs> what did you do? I slammed my knee into my desk just to uh, wake me up. Just uh, to what? feel something, Andrew. <laughs> I've missed your random noises. Oh, I know. So me good. too. Yeah. Was, got my fix. Like 60 weeks in the making. <laughs> oh, for that one moment, it tasted, baby. It tasted so good. I want more. 
Hey, editor, anonymous editor that I don't know, push the gain on that one through the roof. Make the car Echo tremble. It. Add some reverb too, so it sounds cool. He'll run it through a delay pad. Ow. Also, I was gonna say, so imagine this technology on steroids, like you said, Andrew, in the ha in the hands of mm -hmm. a big corporations like Hollywood, right? These days, you have nerds having a meltdown on the internet, signing petitions because they want a new season to be made and cancelled and all that. Imagine if Hollywood would turn every show they make into basically a choose-your-own-adventure game, where they make alternative versions of the, every season. Right? Like Bandersnatch. Yeah, like See, Bandersnatch. I I, the the thing is, though, that wouldn't it just be more practical to film multiple scenes with real actors at this point? No. It'd be cheaper to use the technology. Dude, what filming it, is tedious. Yeah, te filming the yeah, editing but, on But think about world. it this way. Think about it this way. If I have a scene where a guy walks into a room and he can either pick up a red circle or a blue circle, filming that would take, what, 10 minutes? Whereas rendering the whole room, the whole digital model putting together the entirety of the 3D plane, the lighting, the different angles, that would that would take a lot longer. I mean, you have to do that with an actual set as well. You have to build the set and make yeah, sure it exactly. properly. Well, no, but but in, in real life, I could just walk into an, an office or an existing set. I could just go to a real place. In computer, I have to make it. I have to render oh, I mean, it. I have to... The movie's still on just team. made with you walking into any office. They still have to set up a lot. I mean, it's still a lot of work. It's a little like saying, I mean, wouldn't it be easier to just use old-timey movie cutting with scissors and movie reel instead of Adobe Premiere Pro these days. I think technology is going to make it all of it much easier. Oh, I'm, I'm not disagreeing. Actors are I going don't to think... have a fit about it. I'm not, I'm not disagreeing at all, but I, I just don't think technology is there yet to where it's more practical to do what you're saying. Oh, yeah, I'm not saying, I'm not talking about yet. I'm talking about like 50 no. years from now. I'm thinking oh, then yeah, we're going to sure. get Absolutely. movies with alternative <laughs> seasons, alternative endings. I, we, I feel like we're going to get, if Endgame oh, was God, made 50 so. years from now, we might get five different versions of Endgame, people rating the different versions on Rotten Tomatoes differently, people recommending the Ooh, different like versions edits. to their friends. That'd be cool. Yeah. That's another thing I was going to bring Game up. Game of so Thrones today, Season 8 completely redone, mm -hmm. but better. Season yeah. 8.5 HD Remix. Right? I was gonna say, like today, all they can do is just choke on their Mountain Dew. But 50 years from now, a dedicated team of nerds with gaming rigs could make their own <laughs> fan <laughs> endings to every TV show. Isn't that nuts? But like, they kind of do already, though. Remember that, like, the famous case of that dude cutting out all the gay scenes from Star Trek. It, <laughs> yeah. is, it has existed for a while. People make what they want. To yeah, make. but. Yeah, it's, but think the, of what he can do with that kind of power. But he's he's talking about the technology. <laughs> he's thinking of the technology that goes above and beyond just oh, I changed around the Star Wars movies, so now that they're good, like he he's talking about like hey, I made a whole new Star Wars movie and it yeah, looks exactly, exactly like talking, the real ones. Jackson, your example is him subtracting things and taking them out. Yeah. Imagine if instead of uh, you guys remember that gay guy in Endgame where they're in a support group. So he could take out uh, that yeah. guy and instead replace it with a straight orgy. Rendered fully with just, all the Avengers. Well, wait a minute. Why in that case even have Endgame? Why not just replace everything with everyone fucking? That's a way better movie. I'm okay with that. And that would be one <laughs> yeah. of the versions. <laughs> but what I, what I, what I want to see coming from that actually is interactive media. Like I, I want, I want to be watching, I don't know, let's take fucking Breaking Bad. I want to be watching Breaking Bad and Walter's sitting at the table and he's all like, my meth empire's great and I am very powerful and bald. And then he looks at the audience and he goes, what do I do now? And then people start going, oh, you should go okay. hang out with your family. And Walter's like, I don't <laughs> want to see my family right now. Like, I, I want I want that. I want I want to actually like interact with it. I think that'd be awesome. You want like a fun. microphone in the TV that you can yeah. shout at your entertainment? Yeah. Alexa. I want to be watching. I want to be watching a scary movie. And like the little chick is walking up to the closet and you hear like, ooh, ooh, ch, ch, ah, ah. and and some guy in the movie theater goes, don't go in there. And she turns around and goes, oh, why not? What What's going to happen? Like, that I think that'd so be cool annoying. as fuck. That everyone in the audience is so annoyed at that one dude for yeah. fucking subverting this yeah, entire but, movie. But then she turns around to go home and it turns out the closet was the safe haven for her and the killer was behind her. 
Yeah, but what if it was like Ariana Grande and she's about to undress to take a shower and one dude is like, don't do it, be modest. Then then the actor then the actor has artistic integrity and goes, man, I'm not hiding this ass from the world. And she gets double naked. <laughs> Wait, so in this in this world, the actor and the actresses are on set 24-7 to fulfill every obligation? That's what the tech... They're that's computers. What the techno- yeah, no, they're a computer. That's the technology. The technology is just slavery. You program, slavery you- with a microphone. Well, now we're getting existential, Jackson. No, he's talking about is life it a slave if it's not living? Yeah. Not actual actors. Oh, that, well, he said... That was literally an episode of Black Mirror. If it's a, is it a slave? If it's not alive, if it's an AI, that's like pretty. Fuck, that was a shit surface episode. Surface level sci-fi. Yeah, but I'm I'm just pointing out that you brought up this. I don't know. All I think is it would be cool if you had actual and like and like even then. Okay, don't put it in the movie theater. Put it on Netflix. Like okay, Bandersnatch is an okay example because you click and make different choices. But I want one where he's like, I'm watching the newest movie on Netflix. It's called like Fun Game. And and the main character goes, what should I do today? And literally a little text box pops up and I just type in what I want him to do. And that and it and he does it. I think that'd be awesome for a movie. And you literally write the movie as it goes along. Like he, yeah. he meets the main he meets his best friend in the movie and it says, what should I say? And like, you can be a dick. You can be a nice guy. You can bring up something to do. And like that writes the whole movie. That would be that, fun be as like long the, as you're alone. Exactly. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be audience. like a big crowd thing. Because yeah, then it, that would lead to uh, fights. Oh, it would well, make for a many... great party game, though. Yeah, exactly. You go, you go in I... turns and you yell something at, at your TV, like, Alexa, make Walter kill Jesse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then, like, the if you... And then if the actors or the AI is really good and it knows the characters, Walter would be like, I'm not going to kill Jesse. Why would I do that? That doesn't make any sense. Fuck you. And then you get all uppity, then, like, then, because I told you to, bitch. And then the and then the movie says game over and it cuts to a scene of Walter and Jesse eating ice cream together and having a great day. See, I feel like I would always just prefer like a written narrative that's been made by someone else as opposed to something that I could shit out through I'm, like whatever I'm, device you're talking about. I'm not saying everything should be like this, but I'm I'm saying that this technology, if it keeps advancing and advancing to the point where you're just making these digital movies that become the real movie. I th- I'd love to see it applied to a to an interactive medium to branch out into a like actual choose your own adventure. Yeah, that would just be cool. Pick it's between a video two game. scenes. Because yes. like think think about every single choose your own adventure medium out there. Every single one, whether it's those books where it's like flip to page forty if you fight the squid, or or those movies like Vandersnatch where you pick the stuff. Or a fucking even a video game that's like make your choice. At the end of the day, you are very limited by what possible outcomes they program like you could you could be playing the telltale batman game and there's never going to be an option where it says like give up and go home just stop being batman <laughs> i so i would love if the technology got to that point batman where they could just program us. they could yeah, they could, they could <laughs> they you play as batwoman i feel like that's could, what somebody could, uh, at buzzfeed just did forced I, to. they must have gotten their hands on this technology andrew and just yelled at the screen like i want a feminist batman I want Batman to abandon us, actually. I want him to be an alcoholic. Give him a beer belly. Ruby Rose. It feels like I wrote this, actually. Ruby Rose kissing a chick. Um, that's it for now, Alexa. Render. And then it's on screen and I start I mean, jacking off. But but my, my point is I want to see like a choose your own adventure without limitations where you just get a bunch of AIs who run the characters like, OK, this is what Batman would do and say. This is who Robin would do and say and knows and this and that. And then they just give you a little a little playset and you can have them do whatever you want. I, I think that'd be a really awesome place to take this kind of technology. You just want to be, be a fun. little girl with a dollhouse going Barbie's going to wanna- kiss Ken. I want to be five year old me again with my fucking G.I. Joe's in the bathtub going. And this is Exploder Man. And he died because he didn't get there in time. But here comes G.I. Joe Extreme on a snowboard. It's like I want to I want to be watching a fucking action movie and go add snowboards and add jetpacks. And all of a sudden they're flying around on their jetpack <laughs> snowboards. I think that'd be awesome. That would be awesome. Yeah. Well, that's my take I don't on think the topic. It'll let- I don't think it'll ever get to that point, though. That seems very unrealistic. But I think realistically, we could all play with G.I. Joe's in the bathtub again. Nothing's stopping us. 
We should actually. That should if we ever do like a like a best of compilation or album cover, our album cover should be the four of us naked in a bathtub playing with GI Joes with like bubbles and shit. Hmm. Well, I, I don't know about that. That's only applicable to you and me. I don't even think Kaya grew up with action figures. He grew up with real soldiers in his bathtub. Actually, <laughs> Kaya will have, Kaya's gonna have a real AK forty seven in the shot. I <laughs> I bought my I brought my toys, guys. <laughs> it was it was still in my mom's attic. I'll, I'll teach you how to reload them. It's great. <laughs> Is that plastic? What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, plastic? You could afford that? Okay. What did you do, Jackson? You're kind of like in between. Did you ever do GI Joes in the bathtub? Yeah. Uh, not GI Joes. GI Joes weren't a thing over here, but I had little green army. Plastic men. Oh, the plastic people. army men. Yeah, we had those yeah, too. I had a lot of those. And I would yeah. set up fake wars. It was fun. Oh, that's cute. What I what I used to do, did you guys do something similar to this? So I had I, I literally would play with them in the bathtub when I was like five or six. And I had a big uh a big like ship, like a pirate ship that I would play with. And what I would do is I would spend probably like 30, 40 minutes meticulously setting up every single character, like a scene. Like, I'd be like, this guy was in the crow's nest and and these two are sword fighting down below. And this guy had a gun and he was like blasting away. And then as soon as they were all perfect, I would just like go in and destroy them all and be like, oh, this guy fell and died and the ship sinking and everyone's fucked in like two seconds. And I would just do that over and over again. I want to see that, that rendered. <laughs> yeah, do, watch the 3D John movie. Before. Andrew Andrew plays in the bath coming to interactive <laughs> Netflix. <laughs> oh, I, do, I love that too. I love that they teased John Wick 4 and apparently it's coming 2021. Sorry. Oh, that's soon. Mm. Well, isn't it supposed to be a TV show? No, it's a movie. But that's the Continental, Thank isn't God. it? What? It's oh, a getting okay, a TV good. show? Yeah, apparently they were in discussions to make a TV uh, show based around the like what uh, the, the Hitman underworld. Yuck. The, what what is it? The continent. Yeah, the continental. Yeah, the continental. Yeah. Damn it, son of a bitch. Whatever. All right, next topic. I have Amazon wins a battle against the Amazon. Have you guys heard about this? No. What happened? Amazon, the actual company, was in a battle with the South American countries for the domain name dot Amazon. So the uh, this corporation called the ICA double N the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers. Yeah. What they do is they dole out the domain names. So what they do is, uh, you know, they give you a .com or .gov, .this, whatever. Amazon decided they wanted to buy .amazon. And the countries around the Amazon rainforest decided, well, wait a minute, like, we're the Amazon. You're just a corporation. That domain should belong to us, not you. And they got into this dispute ever since, I don't know, 2013 or something, uh, even longer. It says seven years. Amazon tried to bribe these guys with. <laughs> Here, I'll read this paragraph. Amazon had tried for years to get at Acto to drop their complaint. At one point, the company had even offered five million in gift cards to Brazil and Peru. <laughs> the Acto member states who originally filed the complaint to no avail. I love that that they would offer you, like, give us a domain that's kind of you know makes more sense for you to own. And we'll give you five million in coupons that you're just gonna use on our side anyway to make us rich and give back to us. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, like, there's not much to be said. <laughs> there's there. not really anything to say. <laughs> Rest in peace, Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Best of luck, Amazon. <laughs> I, Do you I think feel... they play with action figures? Yeah, In the Amazon. When will we I get like the they... interactive movie of that incident, Kaya? So I can choose what kind of gift cards they get. I just want to be the guy who walks into the big business meeting with like a suitcase and he's like, I think I have something that could change your mind and just slams it on the table, opens up the suitcase, but instead of a bunch of money, bundles of money, and it's just gift cards for like Burger <laughs> King and shit. Like, you see, your peasant country could make use of these. Do you know that you can even get Amazon Prime from us if you just let us get the domain? I don't know. I thought that was isn't some that funny what, news. Isn't that what that YouTuber that you hate, uh, what's his name, Rice Gum, did, did uh, when his recent drama hit? I think it was actually last year. He just started giving away Amazon gift cards to people to make them forget <laughs> about the issues. <laughs> yeah, they were used, but yeah, that was his idea. Oh, they were used. <laughs> <Yeah. That's> even, <laughs> wow. <laughs> 
All oh, right. You Hold can on. you can have my receipts. Yeah. Now that I think about it, it would make more sense for Amazon, the company, to own the domain because who the fuck? When's the last time you've even heard of the rainforest? The last time. Well, I just I mean it more as in like, what the fuck are they gonna do with the Amazon name? Like, it's not like you can just Google Amazon. Like, I can look that up on Google Images. Why do I need to go to Amazon dot Amazon just well, to look at the rainforest? I, you can go to Merch dot Amazon or oh, you mean the rainforest guys? Yeah. Yeah, like I, I don't know, know why they would even want that. Yeah, me neither. I feel like they just tried to get a bunch of coupons, but they thought they could hold out for more, and they were wrong. <laughs> Wait, so they're taking, like, say they wanted a website, it would be like www.google.amazon? So the Amazon's like replacing.com? Yeah. Usually, usually, like, the letters are only like two or three letters, like Australia is AU or whatever. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, that's uh, not the, the case. That's not been the case for years now. You can get pretty much any domain name extension. Remember when we were looking up goofy don name, domain names? Uh, mm, Andrew, yeah. like, babyfucker.lawyer. It's, <laughs> you can get pretty much anything at this uh, point. Why is that my domain? <laughs> yeah, what, what, what were you two talking <laughs> yeah, about? Yeah, what Andrew, the fuck are you we talking, talking about? your business name? <laughs> Did I say Andrew, I'm a jack? Babyfucker.lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Don't turn this around to me. We were on the stream. <laughs> How do you guys not remember this? This was our first live recorded episode. We were using our defunct channel. Yeah, I remember that. I just don't know why you singled out Andrew in the discussion. Oh no, I, just, I, I just remember the the shit. <laughs> I don't remember baby fucking lawyers or whatever. Well, no, we having fun. He, he it, was uh, going through all available names, and there was like child porn lawyer, child porn. Oh me. yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, child. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right. Childporn.lawyer yes, yes, or something, yeah, I remember mm -hmm. that. Yeah, I don't know why we always Freudian slip to accusing you of things, Andrew. I remember when Jackson thought you sucked <laughs> some kid's dick at high school and <laughs> primary school. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, it was an easy mistake to make. Okay. It's the punching uh, bag for all your degenerate ideas. Shut up. Well, uh, I mean, you are disabled. So the World Health Organization... <laughs> I am? <laughs> You are soon. Uh, the World Health Organization is going to classify gaming addiction as a dis uh, disease or disability now. Good. I can get fantasy. paid to play video games. My life has never been better. They're going to call it gaming Wait, disorder. Uh, what's the problem? Wait, so uh, can you be born a gamer, or is this something you grow into? So for gaming, <laughs> <laughs> they detect Hereditary. it in the room. <laughs> Well, the ultrasound. Uh, I love my baby, but the the doctor told me we should be considering options. Perhaps we can't in Alabama anymore, but you know, there's states. Uh, it says for gaming disorder to be diagnosed, the behavior pattern must be of sufficient severity to result in significant impairment in personal, family, social, educational, occupational, or other important areas of functioning, and would normally have been evident for at least twelve months. So basically just an addiction. I get paid like to play video games. Yeah. What's the problem? Well, I don't it's think gonna, that's, that's a problem. I think what they mean is that if you spend eight hours inside playing Fortnite and you don't wipe your ass, you barely eat, you don't go to school anymore. I think those are the kind of people they talk about. Or rather, yeah, you know, that's you fair. don't go to work. But I just hate that... You know, I'm so, so fucking sick of parents going along with shit like this. Because you just know that they will take anything that absolves them of responsibility. So now, yeah. Yeah. every time their kid doesn't do something that they want them to do, they just assume, oh, you know, he must be retarded or something. You know, he has ADHD. Better give him some medication. This is just, I feel like this is going to lead to a bunch of lazy parents trying to medicate their children instead of just pulling the plug on the PlayStation and telling the little shit to go outside and play. That's what uh -huh. I don't like. Let's Let's expound, let's expound on that, because the thing is, it's not even just lazy parents, it's lazy people. Because this is applying to a subsect of people who play games who are like, you know, I, I don't sleep anymore, I've kind of given up on keeping up with my friends and family, I don't go outside, it's all I want to do, it's all I think about when I'm doing anything else, isn't I just want to get isn't back that to you? it. Didn't you just start this episode by saying, I'm just going to sleep whenever I drop so I can get back <laughs> into gaming? <laughs> Jackson, I never said gaming. Oh, shit. Once again, your degenerate fantasies projected oh, sorry, sorry, onto I meant, me. I, meant, I, meant I literally said productivity, not <laughs> even gaming. Dick. 
<laughs> if I fall asleep I, I, I was, with a dick in my mouth, so I, be I it. I never even brought up games. I said I don't want to waste time sleeping and I just want to do things. But but anyway, the problem is that this this is applying to a subsect of people who are like that. Those people who have like literally 10,000 hours in Fortnite or Dota 2 or what the fuck ever. And they keep going and going and they can't do anything else. And they fail school and they don't eat and they don't go outside. But the problem is there's going to be a large chunk of people out there who are like, yeah, oh, I'm sorry I was late to work. I got video game addiction, man. Yeah, I just, I I, won't, I couldn't stop playing, you know? Like, I play, I, I'm really addicted. Yeah. I play like 20 hours a week, maybe. It's awful, will, you know what I mean? They will take advantage of this, so will their lazy parents. I, I don't know how being a fucking loser is suddenly a disability now. I was like that too, <laughs> I wasn't disabled, I was just a dork. Like, I was just, I like to stay inside and play old Korean MMORPGs. That, that doesn't mean i needed uh, ritalin or whatever it is they're gonna give these people i don't think there's i don't think there's any issue with classifying an addiction as an addiction for the like to put information out there for people who yeah, need, not need that kind of help um like i'd be complete i'm completely fine with this for alcohol and gambling and i think gaming should also probably be up there with how how the younger generation is influenced by things like fortnite but like you said, I don't agree that parents should use it as a be all method of curbing, yeah. you know, their children's addiction. I mean, that's like a that. that's a brilliant comparison. If gambling is classified as an addiction, then video games can absolutely be classified as an addiction. Well, it's got elements can. of gambling in it. Yeah, yeah no shit. Yeah. It's everything can be addicting. It can be addicted to eating bananas. I'm just wondering why this has to be specifically singled out now, just because we have a generation of children glued to their screens. Right, I don't feel like that's, it's not something in human nature, well, that's just something that society has pushed on them and their parents are too lazy to change it. I think it's because it's a, it's a fairly new new development and people aren't knowledgeable about it. So it's they're treating it as like a public safety thing because not many people are knowledgeable about the effects public safety. that can be caused from, from, yeah. from playing 16 hours of video games a day or whatever they're talking about. So yeah. can you get like a handicapped parking there. sticker? I mean, it, well, <laughs> it's probably a good thing at the end of the day if there's one parent out there who's like dumb as a fucking sack of shit and he's like, oh, you know, little little Billy here, he he plays Fortnite every day after school till bedtime all the time. He's and he just loves it and it's great. Well, he's a bad parent and he's a stupid parent, but hopefully there's some out there where they read this article and they go, wow, maybe this isn't good for my child. Maybe I should yeah, do maybe something. I should, maybe I should take the actions exactly. necessary to pull them away from from the from the device. I'm going to go completely opposite of pretty much everything you guys have said. I think it's a really good thing that this is out there. And it's because I want like all of society to keep getting bigger losers. Like I just want all of society except for <laughs> us to be like a fucking loser. So that way we look so much better in comparison. What this you know, borderline you know, applies I, I, to you guys. What are you talking about? No, I'm not disabled, Kaya. You're autistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck you. You're autistic. <laughs> Surely, whenever I was at your place, and any time I would get up in the middle of the night to take a piss, I would see you with the lights on in your room playing video games. Nope. That's uh, not yeah, what I was yeah, watching. You, I was you, watching you, rock and roll. Okay, yeah, okay. Okay. And tits. Rock and roll. <laughs> Charlie Charlie is the man who said to me he wants dieting standards to solidify fat as being good for you so that we all look super skinny and hot. Oh no, I get that. That makes sense. I'm just saying that exactly. you, you're saying that you want more articles like this is like saying you want more bullets whizzing right by your face. This article almost hit you right in the head, Charlie. <laughs> Yeah, this is always a death You know what? That's a good point. That's why he's getting so opposite opinion on it because this targets Charlie more than any of us. <laughs> yeah, but he's fighting for it. he's fighting for yeah, it. Yeah, I want it to I want it to be like a a big disorder where you have to go to like an asylum and shit for it, but not so me. Charlie, you can't prove Charlie, it. Charlie, what you, what you're saying is you want the thing that says gaming is a disability to benefit you, the guy who plays video games for I think 12 hours a day. I think Charlie nope. thinks he can get away with it when the men with the white uh, straight jacket come to his door and say, "Well, you know, I have a Twitch channel. I earn money from this, so I have a license to be insane, loco, bro. Come on." No, I'll, I'll show them that I can bicep curl big weight and they'll be like, oh, this guy, it can't be a gamer. We've come to the wrong address. We're sorry. Look at him false like flagging. Your... He's using his camouflage. Get him. Those weights aren't loaded. Are, you gonna, <laughs> are they going to get like a little disabled badge like blind people have with the yellow badge with the three black dots, except it's a Razer logo? Ooh. <laughs> yeah, they can, have like, 
G Fuel on it, like labeled Ooh. on them or something. Ooh. Gamer Ooh. gear e- for disabled people, like e-sports. gamer wheelchairs yeah. and crutches. Esports, take note: addiction sponsorship badges. Who's your gaming addiction sponsor? Oh yeah, I got Corsair in my pocket. What about you? Well, my addiction sponsor is is Razer. Ooh, nice. They should do, do alcoholic, that. Uh, do alcohol brand sponsor AA yeah, meetings and stuff yeah. like that? Because I feel like every every time you you go a certain amount of time without being addicted to video games, they send you like a, a mouse pad or something. A, copy, a new copy of Call of Duty. <laughs> oh man, that would be like the that'd be the most lit fucking AA meeting for gamers. It'd be all RGB and shit. <laughs> Be a light oh, yeah. show. Uh, everyone would show yeah. up in their DX racing chairs and roll in. <laughs> Free Mountain Dew and Doritos. <laughs> yeah. DX racing wheelchairs. If if some yeah, of you if on some a of, feed. Now if some of you are jonesing, if some of you need your fix, we don't have any games here, but we do have some DLC codes that you can look at and get excited to redeem. That'll help you. Calm you down. God. We I, need to I, wean I, Albert off the World of Warcraft classic. <laughs> my name is Kaya and I'm a gamer. My name I lost Kaya. my girlfriend three years ago when I beat her for interrupting my League of Legends game. <laughs> Ever since I haven't been able to stop, I now suck dick behind alleys for Steam codes. I really want that. I really want the quest, man. Just hi, hi my name is my name is Andrew, but you may affectionately know me as X Shadow Slaying Pussy69. I uh I've no scoped with the best of them. Some of you might know what that pain is. God, when do those terms? <laughs> when do those terms become? That's a great question. When do those terms become medically defined? When do you look what? up the medical dictionary of diseases and you read like he might refer to no scoping, which is this? <laughs> oh no, I'm a gamer. Or grinding, which means this. Oh, you have symptoms of Web- gaming, including grinding and and lit. <laughs> WebMD recommends you see a doctor immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't there, weren't very strict Christian moms spreading graphics like that on Facebook at some points? Like, if your child's text messages say LOL, it stands for Lucifer, our Lord, and you love need to be Lucifer. more careful. Yeah, love of yeah. Lucifer. The strict Christian moms spread that shit about everything. The cur- One of the current ones is that monster is a satanic drink. Have you seen that? Well, that's, that's an old one. I super believe that. Too. These that people aren't even really around anymore. No, I mean, no. That, sh- that shit, they do it for everything. They did it for Pokemon because they were like, it promotes evolution, so it's the Antichrist of games. Like, they, they yeah. do that for literally My mom was everything. just a specific example. I don't think Christian moms do spread anything anymore. No, it's a BuzzFeed writer spreading that the OK hand sign makes you a Nazi or something, which is the same shit as saying LOL makes you a Satanist. I don't know but, what I mean, it does, make though. a gamer. Does your gamer have a controller your child sorry he could be a gamer if he has a console oh my god imagine a worse existence being a gamer without a controller (laughs) your whole life ripped away from you do you think do you think that if this gets classified this way and it spreads wide enough you'll be on the street and you'll see homeless people and they'll be like hey man you got a game boy and you're just like you'll hand it for him new batteries for his old ass fucking green no backlight game boy so he can just play a little bit of tetris get that fix cartridge Spare I'll cartridge. Take anything, all, man. I'll take Pac-Man, all, man. All I've got is demos. Spare a full game. <laughs> I used to be a streamer. <laughs> Give me swag box. I, I used to used to get four thousand viewers. Can you spare a viewer? I don't have any anymore. God, I, I'd love to live in that world. Honestly, <laughs> I think it'd be great. Oh, you would really. Yeah, I don't think so that sounds like a fucking <laughs> Where, dystopia. Remember, you really um, think you really you think guys... homeless people asking you on the street instead of for cigarettes or or alcohol or mo- food or money saying, "Yo, dog, can I get like just ten minutes of Fortnite?" You don't think that'd be better? That'd be no, a better I don't issue want to have people at all. Well, no, why? <laughs> no. Hey, if, if a homeless guy is gonna begging for anything. If a homeless guy is gonna exist, I would much rather his reason for being homeless <laughs> be. <laughs> Be I that, wish he just didn't exist. <laughs> be that he, he needs to play Fortnite. Your existence offends me. <laughs> it's, the end effect is the it's same. The man is still sleeping on the streets. A lot of them are mentally ill. Yeah, but by choice. He was a multi, multi-millionaire, but he spends all of it on, on Fortnite. It's ridiculous. That's, that's no different than saying, well, him having an alcohol addiction was a choice. Yeah, but alcohol is addictive. 
it, 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 so it has actual games. like yeah so is homelessness Exactly. <laughs> no, but well, like, imagine, it, you imagine if you will, the optimal homeless man. He's a man who makes millions every month from <laughs> a trust fund. Gunner millions glasses. every every month from a trust fund that will never run out for his whole life, but he spends all of it on Fortnite accessories and Overwatch skins and all that shit. So he's just homeless. So he's begging people constantly, going, "Can you can you please spare a gift card code? Please, just one loot box." That'd be you great. Want personal entertainment. You want these poor yes! fucks, these personal gestures, <laughs> like food, money. No, why don't you beg me for a video game or something? Come on. I just I think have a quiz for fun. you. What is? Imagine. Tell me, hobo. Imagine, what is this clip from? If you win, I'll give. I might buy you maybe some coins for the arcade. Maybe. All right. Imagine. Imagine you're in a Blade Runner style like future hover cars <laughs> and holograms and all that, and you're walking yeah, down the street and you see. You mean. Well, okay, yeah. okay. Imagine that's, that's the, God Andrew's it, idea God of an all awesome the, future with hope. The streets filled with hobos begging. Him yeah, and the, and the sea level and sea levels rising and killing everyone. Right, but a bunch uh, of no. All right, I'm trying to think of a, slaves begging him for freedom. All right, all right. Imagine, imagine <laughs> you are in a futuristic utopia. I can't think of a single movie that accurately portrays it. So imagine you're walking around and there's like holograms <laughs> and robots and everything is clean and great and pristine. Wouldn't it be fun? Just cool. If you walk by like a like a guy who's got cybernetic enhancements, say he like he doesn't need to eat or any of that. He he doesn't really need many things. He's he's fine. He but he's homeless and he's like, can you spare a video game, sir? Please, sir. All my cartridges have run dry. I've hundred percented all of my games. Please. That'd be a, that'd be a fun future to live in. I like that. I don't know. Or that's the main problem. I don't know. I Play think people are going to take advantage of this because I don't know if you guys have heard, but Amazon is now gamifying its warehouses where they apparently they made a bunch of internal video games that their employees can play while they're working. So let's say if you stack more boxes than your coworker, your video game character will be racing faster or something. And then if you earn enough, you get to like company merch. Uh, apparently they give you something called swag bucks. So Amazon is taking advantage of this. Uh, if any hobos out there addicted to gaming need a job, I guess they can go to Amazon yeah. to get their fix. I think that's a fantastic idea. I, I see no downside to that. Swag bucks. I mean, anything you can do to make work fun. I think that's good. I, I like that, actually. I agree. I actually think that's kind of cute. If you've already got the job anyway, you might as well at least try and do your best to make it enjoyable for the workers. Exactly. Like I used to play a, a I used to play a game at my old job called See How Long I Could Go Without Doing Anything. And and it was fun. It was fun, but it would just get really boring because there was no real goal. Yeah, so but I, I would just it's Amazon, so if you take a toilet break, your character dies and you're banned from the game or something. <laughs> it's like game over. Amazon yeah. can do no wrong. No gamers allowed. <laughs> Wait, now, now it's no gamers allowed? So what, who are the games for? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I'm just parroting the Jeff Bezos worshippers. Uh, fuck you, Jeff Bezos. No? All right. Nobody's going to say come on the show to defend <laughs> no. yourself. I was trying to look for an easy segue. Can, can one of you say it? Yeah, Jeff... Like, yeah, take that from Kaya. <laughs> Jeff, we would love to have you on the show. Please consider coming on. Jesus, fuck you guys suck so much ass. Our standard you know, line is oh, come on the you, show Kaya. to defend yourself. Fuck I'm trying you, to segue Kaya. into something. Kaya, you're the yeah. you're the guy who like every single time any celebrity goes, I just made a billion dollars. You're like, wow, I wish I was that guy. What a great life. The richest man on the planet. You're going to tell him to go fuck himself. That's not the point. Come yeah, on. I was just Jeff. using him as oh my god, as a jumping. But whatever, Jeff Bezos, come <laughs> on the show to defend yourself. Oh, that's our line, isn't it, you guys? Well, guess yeah, what? I just I found so. out this well, clip. When have we ever said that? <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> Continue, Kaya, please. I see where you're going with this. <sighs> I was listening to the Misfits. Again. Mm. Oh. See if you notice something in this clip, you douches. But she was so serious. Dude, Katy Perry is a joke. 
Mm. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Katy Perry, you're welcome to come on the podcast and defend yourself. <laughs> Dude, wow. guy can come on the podcast and, and defend yourself. yourself. No, but well, that's our strat to get like celebrities on the podcast, just insult them. Out. Yeah, <laughs> yes, wow. that would really make him want to come on. Yeah, yeah. Do you like Why did you bring up the Met Gala? Yeah, this is Swagger. getting egregious now. Holy shit, Swagger, this is ridiculous. We trusted you, man. That's. That's that's a that's alarmingly similar. I know <laughs> to our staple approach of getting celebrities on, which we yeah. have done since episode one. By the way, we are not claiming this to be a new be a new phenomenon. Was it episode one? It, it was a long, long time ago. One. Yeah. It was a long time ago that yeah, we started we've been doing that. this a long ass time. And remember, they their show started a little under year, a year ago. So definitely ripped off. Look, look, look. When when we were thinking about having you on Swagger, Charlie warned me. He said it was a bad idea to have you on. Said you were sort of a country bumpkin. You use your hand <laughs> to wipe. You would get scared by a big city podcast like ours. Still, yeah, video I, we game wanted to addiction. give you a shot. We let you take a peek behind our curtain, show you how the sausage is made, and you thank us by stealing our sausages. This is what your fifth, sixth uh, transgression. Enough. Stop ripping us off, misfits. Yeah, come on the show to we're, the we're dangerous when we're mad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> watch out. <laughs> but on the real, can you guys stop stealing my flashlight shit? That's mine. Misfits aren't allowed to use flashlights, only me. Jesus. Are they doing that too? Mm hmm. Jesus Christ, guys, come on. Swagger, Fitz, Kits. Those are the only two I know, but I'm calling you out by name. Enough is Ooh. enough. I remember to name that's serious now. I, re what? I remember Swagger too. You, why are you going to make me look bad in front of him? Anyway, uh, we have voicemails. Would you like to go there? Because we've been an hour in by now. Mm -hmm. Sure. How many voicemails do we have? Uh, we don't have to play them all. We have quite a bunch. So as you guys know, we gave away the Who's Rights podcast's phone number last time. And they let us down. They didn't air them because they didn't record that week. But they came through, they made up for it, they released a video of themselves listening to an hour of our official podcast fans' voicemails. And so if you would like to see two 40-year-old men just facepalming for an hour, trying to figure out what the fuck any of you are talking about, trying to figure out culture of the young people, uh, it's, uh, it's still on YouTube and I think it's on our subreddit too. You can just type in the official podcast voicemail special, and you should find it with Doug and Anthony. So here's their intro. This is cute. So we, we've got a special episode for those of you that normally listen to us. This won't make a whole lot of sense to you, but there's a, a little show out there called the... <laughs> Does anything we ever do make any <laughs> sense to anybody? <laughs> there, there's a show out there called the official podcast, and for some reason they decided to be a good idea to give our voicemail number for their fans to call in. Uh, so us, Anthony and I, being the true patriots that we are, decided that it'd be a good idea if we just went through and started answering these voicemails on their behalf. Yeah. And, and we won't get through them in this episode, but we vow to answer <laughs> every voicemail that comes our way. That is binding. Yeah, so are we going to get everyone to send them more? Sure, fine. <laughs> so I was oh, going to talk God, about yeah. that. Sink so their they, fucking show. So they, uh, well, we sank their voicemail, that's for sure. They don't have much of a show to sink, it's more like a paper boat. But so they released this and they don't even get through all of the voicemails by the end. They just get tired because the episode was literally an hour long that they did and they were skipping most of them too. So that happens and I go onto their um, feed on Spotify and I realize that they named the episode this the official podcast voicemail special episode one. So I don't know how many voicemails they got. <laughs> I think that's going to be They quite said at the few. start, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they said like 200, over, at least over 200. <laughs> that's which all. is pretty impressive. That's a lot of fucking voicemails, my man. So I figured since they made the legally binding vow to listen to all of them, why not keep going at it? Why not force them to continuously have to push out episodes of them just reacting to our fans, which none of them they understand. Uh, 
Oh, okay, so here's actually this is not a voicemail, but this is Anthony, one of the hosts, and I just wanted to play this one because I think our listeners deserve this little piece of catharsis because I think he speaks for a lot of our audience right here. Okay, I have a blanket veto. Any more mention of Game of Thrones, you're all you're cut off. I don't want to. I don't give a fuck about that show. I don't, you know what? Any TV show, I don't give a fuck about any TV show. Just shut the fuck up. Okay, that was for all of you guys who got a little annoyed at us talking about Game of Thrones all the time. Sorry. That being said, it's still bad. Yeah, let's talk mm-hmm. about it. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, let's <laughs> talk about Game of Thrones, Kyle. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Thanks for bringing it up. I was waiting for that. Yeah, finally. Mm-hmm. Now we can start the episode for sure. Yeah, hey, uh, let's cut out everything before this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is what the people want. Damn it. So this is somebody who wants us to have our own number. And I just want to say, fuck Kaya from the official podcast. <laughs> from the official podcast, we're giving out other numbers. If they want responses, they should make their own number. P.S. Ooh. I fucking love you, Kaya. You're so fucking cute. <laughs> Thank you. What kind of oh, fucking listener? He gave up on that pretty quickly. That's what quickly. I'm saying, man. What in the fuck? I love the little confusion at the end. <laughs> <laughs> the entire episode is just that. Them at the yeah, end going. What fucking it. listeners do they? What kind of oh, fucking listeners do they have? That's man? what I'm saying, man. What in the fuck? <laughs> uh, Andrew, this one's for you. I don't know what the fuck this person, this caller, is talking about. They're correcting you on a cartoon, and then they get cut off. Uh, first off, I'm calling because of the official podcast. Andrew acts like he's a master of cartoons, but he couldn't remember the name of Sitting Ducks. I bet he honestly didn't remember uh, Mission Hill. It's another. All right. Oh, Promo shut cartoon. the fuck up, dumbass. Fucking almost. Charlie, Charlie, <laughs> would you like to give me credit on this where I brought up a Mission Hill clip to you two days ago and you said, what the fuck shows that? And I told you all about it. Yeah, that actually happened. Yeah, That's fair. whoever that is can genuinely suck my cock. I love Mission Hill and I've watched the whole series like four <laughs> times. Well, call Fuck you. No sitting Genuine, ducks. whoever that was, I am dead serious. Message me on Twitter. I will throw hands. Fuck you. No, don't message him on Twitter. Call the number again. Or call the uh, number. I, yeah. I, I love Mission Hill. I quote it constantly. Fuck you. Jesus. Okay. What a man. <laughs> I, I want that guy to join on Discord. Cartoon now, so addiction just, right there. You have a throwdown. Uh, this one. Oh, this is cute. This is Doug saying this about our listeners. Hey, you've listened to their show, right? Mm-hmm. So didn't you assume that maybe that their listeners would be a little a little f- less annoying than this? Absolutely I, not. This is exactly what I was expecting. <laughs> I was expecting a lot more mouth breathing, though. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Doug right there saying, oh, you know, what? they are funny. What the fuck is wrong with their fans? Uh, somebody asking for the number. That's 508-974-4489. Okay. Uh, Go defend our honor. Yeah, call in to defend our honor and make sure that they have to do at least 10 more episodes of this. Um, oh yeah, Jackson, J.K. Rowling called in and she has a request for you. Um, I would just like to say you're all gay and um, <laughs> Jackson, I hope you uh, make Kaya dateable on your uh, new dating sim. Thank you. Goodbye. Ooh. Yes. Jackson, you're getting requests now. How much did you now. pay for that request? I did. Yeah, I, I just... mean, Kaya was always going to be dateable in our, in our video game at some point, so... Okie dokie, well there you go. You still call in and demand more. It's good to create a Twitter hashtag. Uh, This is, what if Kaya, I don't know. So, uh, do you think that if Kaya said, hey listeners, there's this bridge by my house, I need you to jump off it. (laughs) There's this fucking swarm of cars that jump off this fucking bridge? Hope so. What if Kaya would have said, hey, there's this podcast that I like, you should go listen to it. Instead of saying, (laughs) hey, (laughs) Use up all their data. <laughs> they don't know you at all, do they? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> Here's this podcast I like. <laughs> <laughs> the goofiest thing I've heard in a while, Doug. Oh, who would ever? I would never say that. They, don't, they don't know us yet at all. Here's Anthony. This is so adorable. Listen to him go. So just because they gave out our number, it doesn't make it their voice. It's still ours. <laughs> Oh, no, it isn't. No, it's, it's ours now. now. It's ours now. We're going to rape that voicemail. Yeah. <laughs> what, and, they, what they don't understand is even if we accidentally gave out that number or we just gave it out while reading something or saying, yeah, they got a voicemail, you can call it, whatever, it becomes ours. Even even if we don't explicitly say, hey, make it ours or talk about us, it, it becomes our voicemail by that point. That's it. Done. 
That's all it is. Yeah. Hang on, my internet is shitting. Give me just a second. Uh, oh, God. If you if you hate Kaya's internet, you can call our voicemail at. Who are we calling now? What's that? A, yeah, what number is that? I just made it up because no one gives a shit. Well, no, oh, take that no. out. I don't want empty calls being wasted into the void. All right, call our actual voicemail, which I set up like yesterday at a late night because I wasn't sleeping. All right, here it is. It's if you're in the U.S., you have to dial one because it's long distance. So one and Wait, then nine one one four five two. No, Jesus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just stop calling. <laughs> yeah, don't call anything. <laughs> yeah, no, it's called Doug. Yeah, Jesus, yeah, stop what trying to you save two? them. Uh, why are you jumping in front of the bullet here? It's 508-974-4489. Anyway, uh, where, fuck, where was I going? That internet shit really threw me off my little... R motherfucker. Make Kaya dateable, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, here, this is a... <laughs> look... A guest, uh, not a guest, but a fan called in to complain about me not, uh, uh, to complain about me and the YouTube drama, except he forgot that these are two 40-something-year-olds with wives and children and real jobs. Hi, my name is Singe. I was told to call in by your guest, Kaya Orson, from the official podcast. My guest? And I'm calling in to give him a hearty fuck you. See, on his topic, <laughs> on his podcast, he talked about this YouTuber who is can I? A cheater who cheated on his wife. Done. Pretty... Thank you. Don't <laughs> care. <laughs> talking about YouTubers, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that kind of sank his little boat. I, I, I guess I did, must have forgotten to clip it, but at the beginning of that, bef be before he plays it, Doug also mentions that the that voicemail is like two minutes long. So this guy was really angry. Uh, critic Damn. Oh, criticism about our ads. So we got some criticism, and Doug takes it upon himself to talk on our behalf, and I actually agree with him. I endorse this message. Criticism that I want to send to your guys' way is that can you put all your ads together in one block so it would be easier to skip? I can take this on their behalf. <laughs> they don't want you to skip them, you stupid fuck. They want you to listen to them. That's what they get paid for. <laughs> and buy the shit from the people that they're advertising for. <laughs> buy their fucking mattresses. <laughs> yeah, buy their fucking Casper mattress and their Steakums or but whatever the fuck they got. What, uh, they anyway, no man, they're, they're not gonna make it easy. Steakums? Oh, they Dick. are old. Wow. No, Steakums <laughs> is making a comeback. Really? Yeah. They're making Steakums yeah. again. Yeah, wow. Steakums are coming back. Wow. Oh wow. Yeah. Uh, so thank you for that message. He's of, of course obviously right. We're not gonna make it easy yes. for you to not listen to our ads. Uh ooh, here we go. Oh, Kaya, you're so autistic. <laughs> Jackson, this one's for you, buddy. There's this oh, yeah, running yeah, yeah. gag about Kai's sister saying he's autistic or this or that. Um, have you all ever looked into Jackson being autistic? <laughs> I mean, I love Jackson, but he's like a fucking like 22 year old man who jerks off to like fucking Star Wars porn and I bet fucking knee so? inflation too. Like Jackson had an aquarium in his room. For fuck <laughs> wow, how autistic! Like, and I mean, Jackson was wearing a fucking like. What was that, a bear costume whenever he was at fucking Charlie's house for Casino Royale or whatever? Wow. He's doing you know, his research. Up, like, what? Wow. In retrospect, wow. I get yeah. where he's coming from because in that episode, uh, Jackson, you were the only one wearing a onesie. Kind of looks weird. <laughs> wow. No, he nailed you, Jackson. Only autistic people have aquariums in their room. He fucking got you. <laughs> well, no. Uh, that... Also, he's he's discrediting the point that late, earlier that same day, or maybe the day before, we did a fucking live stream of all four of us in one seat. <laughs> well, yeah, it's different, though, than the, the episode. But the aquarium thing, I think, is in that guy's corner as well, because Jackson had the aquarium. He spent, like I think, like $2,500 on everything in it in Total, well, well, and then uh, got rid of thousand. it. Wait, you got rid yeah. of it? He, yeah, he got rid of it, it like it's two weeks my, ago. I didn't get rid of it. It's at my mother's. It still, it still exists. The fish are still in there. It's just uh, at her. What place. the fuck is the point? You bought them to he look at them, empathy. and now you can't even look at you, them. Jackson, it Andrew, was do empathy. the two of you like just talk past each other every time? Am I the only person always remembering what you guys said to one another? Jackson said Do this I? last episode. Yeah, we talked about exactly. him getting rid of his fishes. We already gave him shit for this. Where were you? Oh, eh, probably gaming addiction. 
<laughs> I think everyone in this in this podcast is autistic on some level. Absolutely. A hundred percent. No, a hundred percent. Hundred percent. Charlie, more so than any of us. Yeah. Perhaps. Yeah. yeah. That's a hard hey, disagree. Hey, me. Charlie, how many hours in RuneScape do you have? Couldn't tell you. Case closed. Yeah, An autistic look. amount. Case, Case closed. closed indeed. Eat those monkey nuts, or Charlie, you could eat these co the this caller's nuts. Just to solidify it. Yeah, what's up? I've never actually listened to your podcast. I'm here for the official boys, just like any other <laughs> what an person. Asshole. Uh, figured I'd go Yikes. ahead and let Charlie know that uh, I'd rather fucking put my dick in his chocolate starfish than I would any other porn star. All right. Charlie, if you're hearing this, the offer's out there. Come and suck my wiener. I love you. Wow, what a genuine dickhead. <laughs> did he fart? Did he fart in the microphone <laughs> at the end? <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't tell that... if that was blowing a kiss or an ass clap. <laughs> Ooh, maybe it was an ass clap. Uh, I hope he shit his pants. Okay, if you would like to send those boys some more love, uh, it's 508 974 wait, 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 wait. Didn't we say we were gonna do a different voicemail every week? I just want yeah, to see how fun. far they can take it. We can start next week. Okay. So I'm thinking, okay. here's what I'm thinking. I feel like we're the only persons who came up with this. So I think we need to voicemail rape increasingly more popular shows because then they go, what the fuck, and name drop us on their show. Imagine having a dozen shows out there, all of whom mention us and play our voicemails. I think it's good marketing. A good way to reach new audiences, and we can every it's week a good pick way to a podcast. Make other podcasts hate us. Yeah, really. It's a good way to We're not in the business to be liked, Charlie. <laughs> yeah, have you heard True. our fans? They don't even like us. You gotta make some well, enemies, like buddy. Kaya. Besides, no, look, Doug and Anthony, they like us. They 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 were having fun with this. Uh, give the honestly check out the video. It's kind of funny watching these two guys just look exasperated for an hour. Uh, I forgot the name of the video again. It's like the, the official podcast voicemail special on YouTube. Okay, uh, are we ready for Andrew's quiz yes. show? Let's mm -hmm. do it. Yes. All right, so this one, we're keeping it simple. Just name what it is from. And Call of Duty. The point. That's it. Okay, sorry, I was sipping. All right, here we go. I give up. Is this pretty to do with spies? Nope. nope. Way too easy. Way I too easy. This. I just can't tell right now. Way too easy. No idea. It's super generic. Oh, okay. I even the chat's mad at you guys. I can't put chat's my finger on it, but I know I've seen it. Is it like Harvey Birdman or something? No. Same network for a while. I'm not going to answer oh. the IC chat. Oh. Uh, it's too late. None of us are getting points. Yeah, no one's getting points. Yeah. Cowboy Bebop. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I've never seen it. Oh, bullshit. Yeah, okay. well. Bullshit. All right. I, the next one is way easier. So I gave a backup right. in case you guys, I don't know, never watched <laughs> anime. Okay, here's his. <laughs> here's the backup. Right. This one, even if you haven't heard it explicitly, it's very easy to guess. Okay, here we go. If you're with me. I know the song. We were left to tell the story. There is nothing we can live through. Dragon Ball is easy. This is so easy. We will rise again. I recognize it. Don't stop, don't stop. Don't stop, keep your feet. Is this Yu-Gi-Oh! Dragon Ball? Close. Thank you. Kaya got it. Dragon Ball Z. Okay, Jesus. Okay, you must not have heard me. I said it before, but when I didn't hear anything from you, my confidence... Oh, I Went didn't, I didn't hear you when you first said it then. Yeah, Kaya yeah, he got it. He, he said Dragon Ball almost immediately. I didn't hear it, I'm sorry. Okay, Kaya gets the point. Yay. Dra opening I don't think Dragon I've ever Ball heard, Z. Yep. I don't think I've ever heard the English opening. It's one of them. I mean, there's a billion of them. That's, that's from uh, Kai, which is the remake, but I mean... Oh, well, that's yes, Dragon Ball Z Kai, you're right. It. Yeah. That's where that's from. Again, again, I thought even then it was easy enough to guess. Like, it sounds like every Dragon Ball opening... <laughs> It does, Not yeah. Really? I don't think so. Hey, well, shall I? I mean, I, I can't yeah, fucking different. I can't fucking believe none of you got Cowboy Bebop. That makes me so sad. None of us have seen it. It's a it's, it's like everyone knows about it. Everyone oh, but knows about it. It sounds like it. a very generic uh, hippie disco music. It's not It's fucking jazz. Yeah. Generic. 
I mean, that that could be a million wow. different movies. It could be Austin Powers. Kaya, you just got over a big hate slump. That's that's going to get you a lot of haters. <laughs> just call them that now. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure this time it'll hurt my feelings. <laughs> 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 All right. Kaya, either way, Kaya gets the point, bringing the score of Kaya, I think, three? Two or three? Yes. You're, three. Kaya, three, and. Charlie Jackson, at two, and Jackson Charlie, at one. Ja yeah, I, I fucking forgot to update the notepad. Oh. I have them all here, don't worry. Okay, do okay. we have a things we like corner? Does everybody have a, a, anything, or are you just going to stall? While yes, but I have to go before Jackson if we do it. Go, We're going to say the same thing. Fuck you. Well, can we join forces? Yes. Okay, how about we'll do the thing, since we if both... we do the things we like, Jackson and I get a get a tag team effort because we're gonna say the same thing. And okay. I know how it. about that's kind of fucked up. All right. How about then you, you two can, you fusion and, and me and Charlie? Okay. Yeah. All right. Hang on. Jingle yeah. first. Yeah. the same thing as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. yeah. That's fine. You guys can collaborate. Jingle first. They might seem like cynical dicks, so they're going to throw this into the mix. Just so you don't think they're dead inside, it's the things we like corner. So, uh, Charlie and I really like the Steam Quest. Oh, too bad. Yeah, that's great. You're allowed to. We like the Oculus Quest. Get fucked. Oh, whatever. Yeah, what's Fuck. the Steam Quest? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you guys, you guys like whatever the Steam Quest is. Never heard of it, but the Oculus Damn Quest, it. Jackson and I are all about. You blew it, Kai. I it's love the Steam Quest too. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, just wanted to take the topic from you, but I wasn't knowledgeable enough. I'm not an addict, man. I don't know. I don't know. Steam. Yeah, Quest. we're the only ones that aren't gaming dis a bit disabled. Well, Jackson and gaming I are gaming disabled. enabled by the Oculus Quest. Isn't that right, Jackson? I want to join that team. I don't want to be a gamer. <laughs> <laughs> you, you traitor. <laughs> I'm team John Wick. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hell yeah. No, but seriously, the Oculus Quest. Oh. That, that wasn't a fart. That was a kiss into the microphone. Oh, beautiful piece beautiful. of technology. Oh, it's so goddamn good. Just playing VR with no wires whatsoever is you didn't mm -hmm. you wouldn't think it's such a difference. But by God, is it a big difference? Oh, yeah. My main my main reservation and hatred of the other VR machines because I didn't really like them was that it just took forever to set up there yeah. and uh, the wires were just like in in contradiction to what VR was trying to do like you were never really immersed in the games because you always had this wire pulling you back into the real world but with the Oculus Quest it's just it's so quick to set up so easy to use and no wires it's just perfect yeah. So does only, your computer need to be more powerful only... now? No, you don't use a computer. No, no, you don't at need all. a computer. It runs all on the VR. Yeah, everything. All the sensors. There's literally no wires. All, all the, the things sensors. Are the only wires to charge. Wait, the thing yeah. itself is a computer. Yeah. Yeah. All oh. of the sensors are internal, so you don't need to set up sensors around your room or stations or any of that. You don't need to plug it into anything. So literally, like... you turn the headset on and you're playing VR. That's it. So even somebody like me who just has a little Chromebook thing here. I could buy that and play. No, you, you don't. Yep. You don't, no, you don't you need, need anything. You don't need, you oh. can play it outside. You don't That's need shit. Cool. You can have absolutely no so technology. How, how powerful is it then? Like what kind of games can you play on it? Runs, runs the exact same games. Yeah. So, at a lower, to oh, be fair, I, at a lower fidelity and a lo lower. Yeah, I assume you can. Yeah. So, but still. so to be fair, to be fair, because this is a criticism, it's, it's like what, four or five days old. So the library is kind of sparse because not everything is ported yet. I think there's 50 games. Yeah, there's 50, and they, I mean, they obviously range in quality. But for example, Robo Recall, which was the main reason I bought the thing, it's like a wave shooter against robots, and it's a fucking kick ass game. Um, I played it on the original Oculus Rift, and now I've played it on this. The one thing I did notice, there's two big takeaways that are different. Like, one is obviously the graphics. It doesn't look as clean or as sharp or as smooth as the original Rift. And then the other is during certain like loading things or whatever there's just less like there's an introductory cutscene where you get surrounded by robots and like i noticed that some of them were missing from the original just probably because they didn't have the power to render all of them but so that, would you say it looks better or worse than the switch for example oh definitely uh, better definitely better um okay. but at the end of the day it's all just cosmetic i've never seen any performance hitches or issues the game plays exactly the same Everything is exactly the same. Does it still same. do yeah. porn? 
Well, could you still yeah. go on? The it's internet? Still, yeah, 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 it's still it's you still can. got a browser. You can go on any website you want. It's still got all that. Mm. It's got everything. Oh, no. You can functionality fucking, wise, yeah, functionality wise, it's pretty much exactly yeah, the same. You can as the you can Chromecast it, Charlie, so you can have everyone watching whatever VR porn you're in. Really? Yeah. On the Aztecs <laughs> sub Twitch, whatever the game is, Architects, Artifact. Ancients, Artifact. Artifact. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's fantastic amazing again it's it's still kind of primitive because the game library isn't fully there yet compared to the other headsets but i i i'm I'm, i've been having a fucking blast with it i really really love just being able to put vr on and literally in less than a minute be playing instead of having to turn your computer on and set all that shit up and all that so then but like how long does the charge last is it good like four like four hours i think on charge i guess that's Good enough for. I mean, that's more than the. Yeah, that's more. That's honestly, you're not gonna you're not gonna spend that long yeah. in VR anyway. Th- because and that's just get... uh, that's more than the Switch in certain cases. Like for you Breath of addiction. the Wild, the Switch only lasts like three hours. So I think that that's fine for portable, just gaming standalone. Plus, who mm-hmm. who would do VR I for agree. four hours? I mean, that's like four hours of physical activity. No one's gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no Two one's gonna do roughly. that. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's got Beat Saber. Uh, currently, they are working on importing custom songs, which apparently is very close. Uh, so, but I sure hope so. But for right now, you can play all of Beat Saber as it comes. You can play Robo Recall. There's like a Star Wars game, which is apparently good. So Jackson will be when he plays that, texting me about it thirty million times. I already have. I've uh, already finished. How it. How did it you great. like it, Jackson? The man who's going to like it no matter what. I loved it, surprisingly. <laughs> Darth Vader stood over me and I had a raging boner. You it was like autistic. a dream from fucking f- when I was five or six. I was like, <laughs> You had a boner so for Darth Vader cool. when you were five? <laughs> it was my first boner. Andrew's interested. No, but basically, <laughs> basically, it was like uh, if you went to Disneyland or whatever and went on one of their VR rides, but you could do it in your own home like without, without waiting in a line for two hours. It was very similar to yeah. that. It was a lot of fun. It's it's great. I I'm I'm not gonna you know I want I want to be realistic because I don't want people buying it and then going this thing fucking sucks. It's got two games and I hate it. It again. It's it's pretty early. There's not that many games and there's a few interactive experiences like National Geographic has like some shit where it's like hike Mount Everest and this and that. But uh, baseline features are all there. You can have a virtual desktop. You can browse the internet, watch YouTube videos, all that shit. And I, I've been having mm-hmm. a having a very good time with it. Just love it. It is it is if you have never used a VR headset before and you didn't have like you couldn't compare it to the Vive or the other Oculus, I, I think you'd be blown away just from how like a, it's it's definitely the best VR oh, headset. G- guaranteed. Absolutely. Just just I mean, having played other headsets, there is noticeable sometimes in games like, oh, that doesn't look as good. Or that's not as sharp and smooth and nice, but like, what the fuck ever? You get over that in five minutes and everything just plays perfectly. It's great. I highly recommend Ooh, it. Only only downside I've noticed is that the headset is very front heavy, so it'll kind yeah. of weigh in your eyes there is a, a lot more uh, than other headsets. There's a, there's a company that makes accessories for it, and they make a back weight that you put on the back to balance it out. Unfortunately, they're sold out, but I'm looking to looking to get one. Can you just so, use any weights? So. Strap yeah, 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 yeah you it. could. You could. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, again, the the problems, at least I, I I mean, I agree with Jackson. The problems with it are very minor. Like, oh, it gets front heavy. Yeah. Oh, only four hours of bed. Like, what the fuck ever. It doesn't look as pretty. OK, fine. The fact that it's just completely wireless, completely <laughs> self-contained. <laughs> I can't literally to a date. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> literally, literally, no, literally. Is no that really a factor? Required. It doesn't look pretty. Is that a review? Who gives a shit? Nah, whatever. I, I think it. I think it looks fine. No, I, I, I meant pretty. the games don't look as pretty. As, oh, as, oh, as, okay. as the other headsets. Yeah, yeah no, who, no. I think the headset actually has a very nice design. I think it's very simple. Um, but yeah, I mean, oh, it is it, another downside. Yeah, 
it is made by Facebook, so if you have a problem oh, with yeah, that, yeah, it's owned, true. and yeah, you're kind of buying yeah. into the Facebook ecosystem. So if you got a problem with that, then you won't. Uh, like on the less. upside, you are not required to do anything Facebook to use it. Like when you first sign up, so the way that you load stuff on it is you go through your phone because again, it's completely wireless. So if you want to browse the store or load games when you're first getting it, you can go through the app on your phone, and it'll be like, "Hey, sign in with your Facebook account," and it's big and it's a giant blue button. They want you to do it, but if you just scroll down a little bit, it says or make an oculus account in like the tiniest font possible i mean the information is going to yeah, the same exactly place, though. but if you're like me and you don't really have a facebook account you can you, what i'm saying is facebook is not required it's it it's yeah. there for certain things like you can also stream to facebook live directly from the headset and shit if you don't want to do it through obs or whatever shooter. yeah exactly but if you uh if you don't <laughs> if you don't want to have to do that you you can totally opt out of all the Facebook stuff. So don't feel like that's like a mandatory that's like, quite like there's some people out there who are like, they're stealing my data and all that shit. You know what I mean? Whatever. Not required. All right. There you go. The Oculus Surely, Quest, a joint, a joint presentation from Jackson and myself. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> buy now. It's actually sold out. You can't buy now. Yeah, we love it. Buy I soon. just checked that's here in the markets at retail for me, at least. Yeah. All right, Charlie, well, Kyle, Kyle, what did you guys like, bring to class? Yeah, we like John Wick 3. It's about all there is to that. Yeah, it's great. I'm just going to say, again, if you like movies in the format of Fury Road, where it's maximal action, a good premise, but no boring dialogue. Like, there's this one moment in the movie where John Wick meets up with Halle Berry, and you go, ah, oh, god damn, it's like, is this going to turn into, oh, she's my ex, I still kind of sort of love her, but I'm faithful to my wife, romance bullshit. No. Halle Berry and her two dogs just kick ass for like 30 minutes and then she pisses off immediately. It's so good. Yeah. And speaking of dogs, this movie is, if you like animals, this movie is kind of fan service because it just has these, all these adorable scenes with animals. It has, again, Halle Berry and her two dogs kissing ass, going around biting balls and legs. So check out John Wick 3. Great movie. Fuck, I love Keanu Fantastic Reeves. Fantastic movie. Great guy. All right. That's our joint presentation. I don't want to give away too much about the movie. I just re uh, rem remembered I have this voicemail that I forgot. It's, I called Carl, prank called him, uh, at his job. <laughs> so at his job? I'm only going to play the first part of this. Is my internet fucking up again? Yeah, a little bit. Hello? Hello. Hey. Hey, okay, well, now it works. So I just had to rejoin the fucking chat. I guess that's it was just Discord fucking up again. Uh, I was going to say, I'm just only going to play the first part of this. The part where Carl just shuts me the fuck down in a single word. Because I called back and I left a voicemail because they screened my call this time. And I left the... <laughs> I thought it was funny. Kind of goofy voicemail. But then Carl, the next day, texted me. And apparently I really scared his co-workers. <laughs> <laughs> so god damn it my that was my twitter did he get this man fired yeah. from his only job kaya didn't he even do is... anything all he did is say hello and they were like frightened no <laughs> i won't give away too much i can just tell i can promise he's not gonna get fired by uh, anything um motherfucker let's see he sent this fyi i came into work today with my business partners concerned about the voicemail that you left they thought it was serious so if you could do me a solid and not leave threatening voicemails at my business, that would be much appreciated. Thanks, buddy. And I apologize. I said, I'm sorry. I, I didn't think anybody would be able to hear that besides you. Anyway, here's the initial call. Look at the balls on this man. Hello, this is Lisa. How may I help you? Hello. I would like to talk to Carl. Wow. <laughs> to Carly? Carl. <laughs> wow. <laughs> This is a crime. Oh my god. <laughs> You're actually autistic. Yeah. <laughs> Kaya, what the fuck? Hello, this is Carol. Carl, you've gotten away too long threatening innocent podcasts, reviewing them, hating on them, giving them a hard time. Do you feel bad? No. <laughs> Did he hang up on you? Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. No 
wonder the co-workers were wor- what the worried. What fuck, <laughs> man? Shit. Oh, that wasn't the the voicemail that I left. That one was different. I thought it was humorous. <laughs> Did you call back screaming and fucking... No, I don't Red. know. How dare you, Carl? I'm coming to burn it all down. Carl, <laughs> Carl, I just I can't have, believe they. I just they have a worried. question, Carl. When was the last time you saw your wife? <laughs> I mean, I could look it up real quick and see if I can find it if you want. But okay, good show, long show. All right, take us out. Yeah, nice long show. All right, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, we've got a Patreon if you want to head on over to patreon.com slash the official podcast where you can listen to bonuses what did we talk about last week on the bonus oh yeah my my coming out story or whatever it was <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah Jackson um, doesn't even remember yeah that time I came out whatever no big deal you don't remember all the messages you've been getting Jackson yeah Kai has been sending them to me um, yeah so head on over to patreon.com slash the official podcast to hear some bonuses and other stuff like that and yeah thanks for watching this week we'll see you next week bye everyone, bye, everyone. goodbye bye. good night